So it means we are looking at two years, 20x0, for example, and 20x1. Average debt is collection and the last word in this ratio is period so again we are looking at days so if we are looking at days you know you need to multiply by 365 so what is the formula the formula says average debt is Average debtors all over credit sales because debtors only buy on credit. Credit, let me just erase that so it's neater. Sorry about that. Credit sales, and again, because it's period, we say 365 times 365. Okay, so our answer because we talked about days needs to be x days. Again, they will tell you to round off. So just look out for how you round them off. It's to one decimal place or two decimal places, but they'll always instruct how to round off. Your answer should preferably be 30 days plus or minus, but you want it to preferably be less than 30 days. Okay, because you want debtors to pay quickly. The longer we have debts, from debtors, so debtors that owe us, the, the more likely it is to turn into bad debts. So it will turn into bad debts, which means money is written off, which means we never get money from those sales made. So bad debts from long debtors collection period. So you want it to be as short as possible. Okay, and again, this links to creditors payments period you want it to be shorter so debtors collection you want it to be shorter the period to be shorter than your creditors payments period okay so you need to receive this money first so you are liquid you do have money on hand before you pay your creditors okay um and again if you have so sorry about that and again, if you have bad debts, you're going to have things like legal fees. It just increases the cost. So you just want your debtors to pay quickly. An internal control measure to ensure people do know they still owe you money is to give them monthly statements with how much they owe you. 